Okay, so let's talk about the big issue of the month, <laughs> which is that you can no longer use virtual cam through eCam, and I'll explain what that is, to send your production to Skype or Zoom. They have both killed the virtual cam capabilities. However, eCam is so freaking awesome that what they've done is chosen to create a workaround for you um, and given you some instructions to be able to deal with that in the here and now. Now, Zoom actually has said that they, uh, that they will be fixing it, but who knows how long that's gonna take, right? So what I want you to understand about virtual cam in this whole scenario is why you would want to do it. So you've seen how I do the countdown timer, right? So like if I'm gonna throw my countdown. Yeah, so like that you can send to Zoom when you put up like some of the animations, right? So like if you wanna try out Ecamm, if you haven't already, you can head on over to livestreamingpros.com slash Ecamm where there's free training and a free trial there for you for Ecamm, which is the video production software that we use to make all of this fancy stuff happen. So if you wanna be able to send all of that stuff and switch cameras, add things on screen, put comments up on screen, all of that, and you wanna send that same signal into Zoom or to Skype for a call, a conference, for a presentation, or maybe you're even you know, fitness or dance instructor, what you can have is multiple cameras, close-ups, wide angles, doing all of that inside of Ecamm Live, and then sending that production out to Zoom where your students are joining you, right? So these are two different functions for software, but they work really well together. Unfortunately, <laughs> just like Midge is saying, Everyone's whole life changed when Zoom killed the virtual cam. Um, you can, because you can't use overlays in Zoom. People are like, can I have my Mitch on my Zoom, right? You want to be able to do all of this and have that, that, that connection. So um, what Ecamm has done is actually set up a workaround, a solution for you. And I'll talk about uh, Zoom first, and then I will talk about Skype, that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> then I will talk about Skype. By the way, uh, if, you, if you are new, those of you who are new, I never introduced myself. Hi, I'm Laria Petrucci. And I'm from Live Streaming Pros, where we help you create professional live video that is uniquely you. And I also am working with partnership with Ecamm here for this show called Go Live Now. So welcome to Go Live Now. I love that music. <laughs> All right, so let me dive in to show you exactly what you need to do. Are you guys ready? Give me a big yes in the comments. Um, so what I want you to see is that Ecamm has actually set up on their own website uh, some instructions for you. I'm gonna walk you through these instructions, but if you need after this, the link is in the description to these, uh, to these instructions for both Skype and Zoom. So what you're gonna have to do for both, okay? But I'm actually going to go ahead and just do a full on demo for you. Okay, so let me work it out here. So I'm gonna go into live demo mode. You guys have to keep me on track. Make sure I stick, I, I come out of live demo mode. <laughs> so what you're going to do is you're going to go to the output menu um, and all in, instead of virtual cam, Right, so virtual cam is typically that thing that allows us to switch the cameras, to add all of those cool assets, those graphics up on screen, and send that into Zoom or Skype. But that's broken. So what they've done instead is add this sharing window, and you wanna turn this on. So now sharing window is turned on, and then, uh, let me go to the next step here, then what we're going to do is you're gonna open up Skype, I mean, Zoom. <laughs> I'm getting them backwards here. <laughs> uh, then you're going to open up Zoom and you are going to see 
in Zoom, it doesn't look pretty. Hold on, let me fix it. Let me make it look pretty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so in Zoom, uh, there you go. There are your menus that you're uh, normally used to seeing in Zoom, right? You're going to hit share screen inside of Zoom. And then you're going to look through all of these things and you're going to look for Google Chrome Ecamm's live sharing window. Now, I do need to point this out. This is a pro feature only on Ecamm. So this is not available unless you have the pro account. Um, but again, like I said, you can uh, get that free trial um, that is pro if you don't have it already, or you'll need to upgrade to pro in order to use this, but so worth it. So, so, so worth it. Okay, so then you're just gonna hit share. And now you see, I'm sharing my screen. This is what Zoom is seeing. Um, and so, hold on, you can see this green little outline. Um, then you know that that's the wind, that's, that's what's being shared. And so then I can send my entire production. I can do that. I can, um, you know, put up my little uh, fancy things. And Zoom is seeing all of these transitions. They're seeing the camera changes. So that is what you, uh, that's really all it takes in order for this to hack this little share workaround, I should say. It's not even a hack, it's just a workaround that they added to the software. Um, oh, okay, so Ecamm is actually sharing uh, another link to some workarounds. If you don't have, um, if you don't have a uh, uh, pro. <laughs> All right, so that is it for Zoom. So essentially, yeah, Catalyst Studios, you want me to recap it. So let me go back into here. I'm just gonna quickly, this is really, really simple. Okay, so starting now, recap, all you're doing is going into the Ecamm uh, output menu, clicking sharing window, and turning that on. Then when you go into Zoom, you're going to share your screen in Zoom, and then you're going to uh, choose the sharing window choice that you have inside of Zoom, because you're going to see that it is Ecamm Live sharing window. And then you're going to be able to have your full production. That is, it is super, super simple. Super simple. Um, Okay, so yeah, exactly, Nicole, right? Uh, thank you, Paul, for posting that uh, link, that other link in our chat as well. So then when it comes to Skype, here's the deal. Skype, there's not the same workaround, but what you need to do is you just need to go download an older version of Skype. This would be my recommendation and they have a link right here. So if you have been forced updated into using Skype, you need to download Skype. Now, the, the key here is that you need to actually um, not put the new Skype download in applications folder. Uh, you don't want that. You want to make sure you just open it from the downloaded file. Um, so that Skype can't force that update. So they, they have the ability. The other option is to like get into terminal, but let's stay away from that. If you don't know what you're doing, <laughs> let's stay away from terminal on a Mac. Basically you're getting into the like deep, deep code there. Um, so we don't want to do that, but uh, yeah, that is all you need to do for Skype. Just revert back to an older version. Make sure you do not put your Skype application file into the applications folder and you just open it raw from the download. So that's it. Like, I mean, I know it's like, I feel like I should have more to say <laughs> or more to do, but that is it. I love how fast and quick Ecamm is at making these adjustments and these changes. And then of course, when um, sco sc scoop, <laughs> Skype and Zoom, <laughs> what is wrong with me today? <laughs> when Zoom and Skype actually release their updates to hopefully fix it, then you won't have to do these workarounds anymore. It'll just work naturally. So there you go. I've 